Believe it or not, this is me 13 years ago. I went to the gym every day, I thought I was eating healthy, and I thought at the time that I had maximized my looks. As a matter of fact, I thought I was only going to look worse, look older. You see, when you're in your 20s, you often get scared of hitting the big, dirty 30. But for me, it was the opposite. The closer I got to 30, the better I felt. In looking at these photos, I can confidently say that I look better now at 35 than 13 years ago at 22. And let's not just limit this to my own personal transformation. Just look at some of these guys who are clearly in their 40s, 50s, and 60s and have effectively aged like fine wine. Today, I wanna to give you all the secrets that I've learned, the routines that I established that will help you age flawlessly and possibly even improve your looks and how you feel as you get older. And the first thing you need to do is take a good look at your skincare routine. And I know that most guys don't even have one. Most guys wash their faces with a bar of soap, if that. They might not even wash their faces at all. And most guys also have never applied a single drop of moisturizer on their faces, and it's pretty noticeable. Great skin needs to have elasticity meaning it needs to be able to stretch, to move around, and to look hydrated, not dry and flaky. And a good consistent skincare routine will help you look younger for much longer. And if you don't do any type of skincare, it's very likely that by age 22, your skin will start to age horribly. Sun damage, wrinkles, acne, dark circles, those can all be improved just by sticking to a consistent skincare routine. Skincare can help you slow down the aging process by addressing those issues like fine lines, wrinkles, and age spots. And an important realization that I had is that prevention is way more effective than trying to reverse the signs of aging later in life. So establishing that regular skincare routine can help maintain that healthy, youthful looking skin and contribute to overall well-being. Now, if you want a simple skincare routine, just wash and moisturize your face in the morning and at night before going to bed and exfoliate with a scrub twice a week to get the texture of your skin looking great and young. I would also highly recommend applying a sunscreen every single day, especially if you're going outdoors. Now, there are a lot of brands to choose from, but as most of you know, I love my app skincare products. Next is exercising. When I was 22, I was <laughs> chugging weight gainers, eating pasta every day to gain mass, but it was really a dirty bulk. I felt heavy, I didn't stretch ever, and I had really bad posture. And I realized that lifting heavy every day without stretching, without warming up or doing any cardio ever, it's actually really bad for your body. I was bigger, around 15 pounds heavier than I am now, but I was tight, I was getting hurt easily, and now, I realized that I wasn't healthy just because I was going to the gym every day. You need to work out, yes, but you should stretch often. You should do cardio sessions to increase your heart rate, lower your body fat, and to have better stamina. And you should eat healthy foods, not just junk to gain mass. This is another thing that like skincare is way better if you start early. If you're overweight at 35, it's a lot harder to lose those extra pounds than being overweight at 25. As you age, your body tends to take longer to recover and to change. That's why I take it so seriously. I work out five to six times a week and I make sure to add cardio and high intensity workouts to my routine. And one thing that helps me stay consistent and track all of my workouts is my Whoop Fitness Track. If you're serious about your workouts, if you're serious about getting the best results and aging like fine wine, then I can't recommend this device enough. I've been wearing this for three years straight without taking it off. It's a part of my body, I wear it on my wrist. Sometimes when you don't see it, I'm wearing it on my biceps. And you see it in some of my Get Ready With Me videos. People are always asking me, what's that band? It's my Whoop Fitness Tracker. It tells me how many calories I'm burning every day, when I fell asleep, when I woke up, how many times I woke up at night. It tracks all of my workouts. I put into my strength trainer all the workouts that I'm doing, every single movement, how many pounds I'm lifting, how many reps I did, and it gives me a workout score at the end of my workouts. And of course, if you wanna customize your Whoop, you can also do that. They have different types of bands with different colors, different bicep bands. They even have boxers that you can actually insert your Whoop into, so you don't have to wear your Whoop on your arm at all, you can just wear it on your boxers. It's truly the best fitness wearable tech right now, and I love mine. And by the way, if you use the link below, you actually get a free Whoop device and the free first month for free and they also just reduced their prices, which is amazing. I've never seen a company reduce their subscription prices before. It's usually always going up, like any of these subscriptions, Netflix, Hulu, Disney+, Plus. which by the way, if you're paying for those, but you think that Whoop isn't worth it, maybe it's time to reassess your priorities. So click that first link below, get your Whoop device for free, and then join my team, the Alex Costa team. I'm gonna leave a team invite code 
in the description below so you can join my team and we can compare stats, have a little friendly competition, and you can see how I'm doing every single day. And you can call me out if I'm not working out. Call me out. There's a chat, there's a team chat. Feel free to hit me up and let me know, yo, Alex, your strain isn't high enough. You need to work out. It's the first link below. Now, the first thing that will absolutely change the way that you look when you're older is your hair. Chances of developing baldness increase with age. About 25% of men experience hair loss before the age of 21. And by age 50, half experience hair loss. On average, 70% of men will lose hair as we get older. Those stats are pretty crazy. It's highly likely that we'll be bald, me and you. So how do we stop that from happening? Well, there are a lot of ways to slow down or even completely stop balding. You don't just have to sit there and let it happen. There are two main solutions. One is minoxidil, which is a topical solution, meaning it's a liquid or a foam that you apply onto your scalp twice a day. Minoxidil reignites some hair growth. Some men even use it on their patchy beards to help fill it in. The second is finasteride, and it's actually in a pill form. Take it once a day and it slows down thinning by a lot. It can even fully stop it from happening. I added both to my routine earlier this year after I noticed some thinning and so far the results have been great. I haven't had any side effects whatsoever, but you should absolutely check in with your doctor before taking these because there are possible side effects. And at the end of the day, your health is more important than your hair. I know you want your hair to look good, but health comes first. I also take the Forte series biotin gummies daily to make sure that my hair is growing fast strong and healthy plus they taste great and i look forward to having them daily and worst case scenario you get a hair transplant they're extremely common nowadays and i've had a lot of friends get it done in turkey which is a lot cheaper and they know what they're doing over there it's the hair transplant hub right now something that can aid you very quickly is your lifestyle what do you do on a daily basis do you sit on your computer all day do you go for walks outside do you even go outside at all? Leading that type of slow lifestyle, being indoors, being on your computer can definitely lead to aging faster. Being stressed even causes your skin to age quickly because your body can stop producing all the natural oils and nutrients needed to keep your skin looking young. And this is scientifically proven. High stress can even lead to hair loss. So not only are you gonna feel horrible from being stressed out, your skin will look older and your hair might fall out. I read a book called Letting Go by uh, David Hawkins, and it basically goes over simple and effective ways to let go of negative feelings and emotions to become free of negativity. You can't control what happens out there, right, in the world, but you can control your emotions, you can control your response, and even how you feel about those things in here. You're in control, so remember that, and don't stress out as much because you've been okay so far, things usually turn out okay. And of course, let's not forget your diet. You should absolutely look at food as fuel. Without the right fuel, your body's just not gonna work as well. You need to eat healthy foods with a lot of proteins, vegetables, fruits, less sugar, less soda, less candy. And you should also be careful with drinking alcohol because that can really dehydrate you and speed up aging. And it goes without saying that smoking, taking drugs and other substances will absolutely go against your goal of aging gracefully. Remember that even if you're 18 right now, you might look at a man in his 30s and be like, wow, I'm so far from that. That guy looks old. But I can guarantee that time only speeds up and that in the blink of an eye, you're gonna be celebrating your 30th birthday and you don't wanna look like you're 40 or 50. I hope you actually look a lot younger than your real actual age. And I hope that you're healthy enough to live a long, fulfilling life. Check out the link in the description to get your free whoop and live a healthier life. And if you wanna know what I did to stop my hair from thinning, you should definitely watch this video right here. I go over it in detail to help you out. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again soon.